Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of arc. A for arc, B for basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Ah, uh, the Ichthyornis, or the seagulls of arc, the little annoying creatures that like to swoop down on you and steal your narcotics. Ah, oh, these guys, I have a love-hate relationship with these guys. It's it, it's bad, and yet it's good. Because when they're wild like this, they suck. When they're tamed, they're absolutely amazing. And today, we're going to discuss the benefits of them. Because today, we're going to get basic with the Ichthyornis. That's right, those little dudes, how they swoop down and steal everything. We're going to get them to do that for us. Oh yeah. All right, so now that we are over here on the beach and these guys are everywhere on the beach, you wanna make sure that you craft yourself up some bolas. Bolas, they're really easy and they're really effective, but we wanna make sure that when one lands, as soon as one lands, then we are able to bola that sucker and keep him on the ground. Now today we're gonna be using regular primitive stuff and you have to be careful when using primitive stuff because these guys don't have that many hit points. When he lands, it's very, very important that you bola him as quick as possible and do not hit him in the head with the arrow. Serious, repeat that after me. Do not hit them in the head with the arrow. It will kill them, yes. Uh, okay, so hey, let's uh, see if we can get one of these guys over on the beach. Or maybe I'll have to go over to a different spot, see if I can find ones that aren't over the water. Because once they're over the water, they're kind of gone. They're, they're really not going to come back until they run out of stamina. Or you can also try to get one, but that's... See if they land in the water, just like that. And then if we knock it out, it's really not going to have that a good a time. So we're just going to... We're just gonna off that guy because, yeah, if he gets knocked out, he's gonna fall in the water. It's a bad thing. So, yeah, let's get over here to another spot. And let's go see if we can find another one. Alright, so every once in a while, you can find these guys up and around over here. Away from an alpha raptor. That's gonna be pretty bad. Alright, but yeah. Um, and let's head down over here. I want to see if I can lure a couple of these guys down to the beach a little bit. Maybe knock them out up here. Let me see. Can I get you? Not you. You. Where did you go? All right, fine. You don't want to be got? Then don't be got. All right, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to get another one. It's fine. I didn't want you anyway, man. Oh, yeah, I did. Back here. Yeah, the trees, man. Oh, he's got. Okay, so now we're just going to knock this guy out by hitting him in the body. And we're going to slowly pepper him. It's where that torpor takes full effect. Wait, see how close to death he's getting? Yeah, it's really bad. I have a feeling one more shot and he's going to... Never mind. There we go. And he's out. All right, sweet. So now that we've got this guy like this... See, he only had 20 more hit points, 28 more hit points. One more shot would have killed him. I'm gonna go get a dino so I can deal with that alpha raptor. I'll bring you guys back and we're gonna get this guy tamed up. But just so you know, this guy is going to need narcotics. His torpor is gonna go down. He's not gonna be able to tame up that quickly um, because we're just gonna have to be using some fish meat. But if you have access to prime fish meat, I would recommend you do that. Um, the easiest way to get prime fish meat is with a sickle. Uh, you go out, you uh, kill saber tooth salmon out in the rivers, and then use that to tame them. And Alpha Raptor over there. Alpha Raptor, Alpha Raptor alert. All right. All right, and we're back. And it's about time. I've been starving this guy out a little bit, making sure that he's uh, just going down like that. Went over, grabbed a dino, came over, killed the Alpha Raptor. Now um, we are going to um, figure out a best, the best way so where he can find this guy. We can go get some fish meat so we can put on him. Now you'll notice if we come over like this, there's no seeing him. It's going to be really hard to see him. So the best way to do that is like this. Put down a torch. Go grab some trees.
Throw that in there. We'll throw that in there as well. Get rid of all this stuff from the Alpha Raptor. And then... Turn that sucker on. I'm gonna make sure that he his torpor is going up before I leave him. I mean, he doesn't have much torpor. He's only got 508. So I'm only gonna give him like four narcotics at once. And then we're gonna run down and we're gonna go get some, uh, oh, some fish meat. But you'll notice now we can find out exactly where he's at. So I'm gonna run down here and then just like this, take out a raptor and then we're gonna go down and find ourselves some fish meat right down here in this water. And we're not going to be going for any kind of special fish meat, any kind of prime fish meat, anything like that. We're just going to be coming down here and getting this fish meat right here. That fish meat right there. All right, so now that we've got this, um, if you harvest these guys, I'm pretty sure that harvesting them with not a, with a sickle doesn't do anything like it does salmon. But I'm gonna try it anyway. Yeah, we're just getting regular fish meat, but this is gonna be more than enough fish meat to tame that guy. So we're gonna come back up there and we're gonna tame this guy with as much fish meat as we possibly can. All right, and coming back up here, we've got, we can find our spot exactly where we left it. Take this, throw all of our fish meat on this guy. Now, and these, one fish meat is not going to give him very much taming effectiveness. But then again, it'll actually go pretty well because he's lower level. It'll actually be pretty easy. But um, I'd also like to mention that their preferred kibble, if you have access to it, is Pegomastax kibble. If you have Pegomastax kibble, please use it on these guys. It is so worth it to reduce the taming effectiveness or to reduce the taming uh, time on these guys. Plus also make sure that you maintain a high taming effectiveness. Uh, prime fish meat will also work, or well, raw prime fish meat, but raw prime fish meat is usually pretty hard to get if you're out looking for these guys because getting raw prime fish meat around in the spots where the ichthyornis is, it's it's pretty rough. It's kind of hard. Um, if you have access to uh, cooked prime fish meat, use that as well. But then again, it's near, it's only half as effective as regular um, prime fish meat. Regular raw fish meat, it works. It's not the preferred method of doing it, but it gets the job done. And that's what we're doing it with. That's what I'm going to be doing it with now. So let's give some more uh, narcotics. And that is why I need narcotics for this tain. Because regular cooked fish, uh, regular fish, is it, it's going to take a long time. It's going to take forever. But by babying them with raw fish meat, plus also having the narcotics, you can get these guys, and it's pretty easy. Just remember, they have very few hit points. They have very few torpor, uh, very little torpor. So make sure when you're knocking them out, you, t you do it with care. Make sure that you count to four in between each of those shots. Put maybe two of them in it if it's a really low level one. Let it wait out. Let it um, simmer just for a minute so where they can get knocked out, so where that full dot can take effect. If it's a little bit higher level, see this guy, he took three arrows and he was almost dead. Um, around, I'd say a max level 150, I'd say maybe five, six tops. And then if you don't get it by then, you might not get it. Yeah, just be, just remember, take it easy on these guys. Be very careful. Um, if you have the chance, if you have the ability, use use tranquilizer darts from a long neck. They are the best method for taming these guys. But since we're covering basics, I have to make sure that I cover it with using the basic stuff. All right, so hey. All right, now this guy's gonna get up here pretty soon. I've been kind of babying him and his taming effectiveness is down because he ended up getting hit by Trudon as I was pulling it away and then ended up getting knocked out. That's a topic that we'll discuss at another day. But yeah, Trudons suck. I hate Trudons. All right, but anyway, all right, so this guy's taming effectiveness, it, it's poop now. But then again, I've already went through, uh, I want to say 24 narcotics because I had nine and then another 15 off the stack. There he goes. All right, he's up. Now, I'm, I always name these guys Taming Buddies because that's exactly what they are. 
Um, these guys are amazing little buddies that will help you out and just be your friend for a long time. Now here, let me show you what I mean. Okay, so now you see that he's wounded and just like the raptor, we can take this guy and we can just force feed him fish meat. And he's going to heal up slowly by doing that and he's going to top himself off. But um, we're also going to take this guy and you see as we mouse over him, it says pick up. So now we can put him on our shoulder and while he does look a little funky... Let's take it. Let's uh, demolish this. Yeah, that guy got hit by the Trudon just a few minutes ago. So we're going to take that, pop that down there. All right, sweet. All right, so let's come down here. And now that we've got this guy on our side, I'm going to show you just how to use them with this little compy right here. They're going to pick up this compy, and he's just going to be walking around. He's going to go out, and he's going to find him, and he's going to hunt him down. He's going to slowly eat him. All right, so now that um, he's just on hunt, he's just going to take and he's just going to hunt um, for him and he's not going to do anything. But here, let me show you. If we mouse over this guy and we switch him over to hunt and retrieve, bam, he's going to start becoming even better for us. All right, where did that compy go? Oh, compy's still, compy's still floating. All right, comp, compy be floating. All right, so now we're going to come down here onto the beach with this guy and we're going to look for a dodo or anything of the sort uh, maybe some fish maybe something like that because i'm going to show you a really nifty trick with these guys there's more of them out there where's some fish oh there's fish now i'm going to get out a weapon it doesn't matter anything that gives us the crosshairs and i'm going to target something let's see let's get a closer fish if it's too far away it won't do it right but if we do it just like this with him on our shoulder, he'll do it just fine. Hmm, I think that's a little bit too far away. Here's one. Here's a willing sacrifice. Or should I say snackrifice? All right. And he, all you do is double click the F key, and he'll go out. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess that was too far away, so now he's just gonna go attack these guys. Alright. And if you, uh, if he runs off and starts doing his own little thing, all you have to do is tell him to, uh, um, just, um, tell him to, uh, stop following you and then refollow you. Alright. And then just like that and he'll come back. Come here, buddy. All right, let's go find some willing sa sacrifices, all right? While the fog and the rain is picking up. All right, see you guys in a minute. All right, so now we're back over here, and the rain just stopped, thankfully. All right, so now we're going to find a fish. Where is a fish? All right. Dude. All right, I see one. We're going to send him out, and he's going to go get that guy. Now, that as soon as he kills that guy, he's going to pick him up, and it's going to turn him gold. All right, <laughs> and this makes it very, very cool. All right, so we're going to take this guy. Now, if we were taming otters, we could just take this and drag it directly to the otter and feed it this way. But instead, we're just going to grab our handy-dandy pick, and we're just going to take this regular fish. We're going to hack it apart and get a whole bunch of prime fish meat. It's really cool. So you can take your first one of these guys and then turn them in and get some even better ones. Yeah, look at that. That is just awesome. Now this right here, this um, tactic works on not just fish. Let's see, look at that. After two fish, we already have a bunch of prime fish meat. It's really cool. Uh, so we can take and we can get um, oh, regular fish meat or we can take and wherever you see a dodo or a Lystrosaurus or anything of the sort, uh, small animals that they can pick up, they can also turn them into prime meat. So let's see if we can go find ourselves a dodo. Oh, here's a Lystrosaurus. Come here, buddy. We can pick you up. All right, let me grab my pointer. Sorry, Lystrosaurus. And he's just going to chew on him for a little bit. Mangling him, munching on him. There we go. And he turns his butt yellow. And he bring, brings him to us. We can take this guy and whack him apart for prime meat. And I don't like you.
at all. All right, so yeah, um, now that we've got that, yeah, you can also use this on dodos. Yeah, you can get prime meat from dodos. It's very cool. It's very effective. Um, yeah, anything that they can pick up. See, right here. <laughs> Grab that, dude. Come on. No, circle back right. Get the dodo. There you go. Yeah, munch the dodo. I have my pick awaiting. Come on. Eat the dodo. Yeah, eat him. No, oh, it must be a mate boost to Dodo. It's doing less damage. All right? And he's going to slowly eat him. There he goes. Turn the Dodo gold. He's going to bring it back to us. And we're going to be able to get prime meat from this thing. It's really, really cool. And we go back. We pick him back up. And just bam. All right. Four prime meat from one Dodo. It's very, very cool. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. All right. So now... Let me toss him down on the ground. Now, um, a way that I would go about leveling these guys, um, you really don't care that much about health. I mean, I'd say go a little bit of health, but you don't care about stamina. You don't care about oxygen. You don't care about food. You don't care about weight. Um, let me just put all this in use where you can eat all that, buddy. There you go. Um, really, all that matters when it comes to these guys is a little bit of health and then mostly melee damage so where they can just um kill whatever that you send them out a lot quicker and a lot easier now i would say out of every five levels go with one health just to help with their survivability and then the, all the rest melee yeah it's that's how you uh tame these guys or how you level these guys up all right, but hey, I hope that uh, the video helped you out. I hope that you guys enjoy the Taming Buddies. I hope that you can get some on your own. I hope that, I hope that you can uh, successfully knock them out as easily as possible because the way that this method, it works really well. It works really good, and I hope you guys um, like the Ichthyornis. So hey, if the, uh, you like the video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. I see the fog coming in, so I only have a second to handle this. The fog just left. Sheesh. All right, so hey, until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody. Fog, leave me alone. Go. I see you. I see you. Ugh. Fog? All right, fine, Fog. All right, take it easy, everybody.